and our team of Swedish engineers are in the final stages of developing the first ever female crash test dummy. Now this is important because women are more likely than men to be injured in crashes and there are some scientists that say this is partly down to the fact that the dummies do, are not representative of the vital uh, test features. So uh, it does make you wonder, doesn't it, why it's taken so long? Well, uh, Shannon McCullum's been to Sweden to find out more. Crash test dummies are used to test how well car safety features protect people against injury, but not everyone is equally protected. Women are three times more likely to suffer whiplash than men if they're in a car that's hit from behind. And although whiplash isn't usually fatal, it can cause serious and permanent disabilities. Sarah's car was hit from behind last month. It was a really big shock at the time. Uh, and my daughter was absolutely crying her eyes out. Uh, her neck was hurting. Um, and uh, she's had a back as well. Got a stiff neck and um, shoulders. The anxiety of, um, are you going to be able to do your job because of your aches and pains? Some scientists say more representative crash test dummies are an important step in improving car safety. Engineers here in Sweden have been busy working on the first crash test dummy that represents the average woman. In order to ensure that you identify the the seats that have the best protection for both part of the population, you definitely need to have the part of the population at highest risk represented. Currently, the industry predominantly uses average male dummies in car safety tests, although there are a number of dummies with different weights, ages and sizes. The crucial point, though, the average female is not represented. <laughs> You can uh, assess how it interacts with the seat uh, during the crash and also how it, well it protects the occupant. Dr Linder's dummies are designed specifically to test how well cars protect people from injuries in low impact rear yeah. collisions. Females are uh, somewhat shorter and lighter than males on average. And then we also have differences in muscle strength, which plays a role in terms of uh, how you respond to a crash. The engineers are performing tests on the dummy to see what happens to her in a simulated rear crash. You see that this is a very low severity. It's a seven kilometer per hour. There will probably not be a scratch on your car, but you see the amount of motion that goes on in, uh, in our body. It's taken decades to get here, but Dr Linder's work, which will be published next month, brings with it hopes that women will one day be safer behind the wheel. Shona McCallum, BBC News, Sweden.